welcome back. This weekend, it is time to celebrate the Festival of Lights known as Diwali. And you can't have a celebration without food, of course. Ah, the best part, right? Joining us is the founder of Spice Girl Sauces and owner of Adia Indian Restaurant in Anaheim, Chef Sachi Mira. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. And for thank you for this me. beautiful, colorful, lovely display. Thank it is you. gorgeous. The Festival of Lights, of course, includes food. So you're yes. going to make something for us. Let's start with this. What are, what are we so making? We're making kind of a twist on an Indian uh, savory snack because there's a lot of snacks and there's a lot of dessert involved mm -hmm. in Indian festivals in general. We're going to be using our Spice Girl tomato chutney. So we have a sheet of puff pastry. You're going to put a thin layer of tomato chutney. Yeah, you can pour it directly on oh. there and then just spread it out. All with over it. Okay. Yeah, and then just spread it out with your spoon. That's good. Okay. And then go all the way mm, as close to the so edges good. as you can. Mm -hmm. So that brings a lot of flavor to it because yeah. it's got a lot of different spices. flavors in it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, it's not really too good. spicy, so mm -hmm. everyone can enjoy this. And then we have a mix of Parmesan and mozzarella. You're just going to okay. sprinkle that on top. All right. It's like a little pizza. Yeah, yeah but you're going to roll it. Yeah. It's like a calzone. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to cut it up so it's like an appetizer. It's super yeah. easy. You can make it ahead. And this is the finished product. This is the finished product. But tell us about Diwali because it brings people together, families. Is it just like... Tell so Diwali about... is the festival of lights. Yeah, you're going to cut them right. Perfect. Okay. Um, it's the festival of lights. It's traditionally five days. It starts today. Uh, and every day has a different significance. Oh. And it's a festival of light over darkness and good over evil and there's always sweets and there's always savory there's do you do always food a different every day of the five days Is yes there, so okay. there's so some of the things are the same so you really and the evenings on the last two days uh -huh. or Diwali and the day before, you want to light candles mm -hmm. in all the doorways and windows in your home. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, Great job, yes. guys. Can you see how colorful <laughs> it is right here? That's so pretty. You see that outside people's homes, right? Yes. So the rangolis, you put, um, you're basically welcoming the goddess of wealth into your home mm -hmm. by lighting her path with the candles and then using the rangolis, which you made earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a great craft for kids. So between here and okay. here, we would chill that. Chill so that. And then cut, cut, it, it, up, cut it up. And then you lay them out on a sheet tray. Okay. Bake them. How, for at how 350 long? 350 for about 12 minutes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great. And, and if you make it ahead of time. This. And then you have this. And, and then, then we have, have more sauce. tomato chutney to okay. dip it in. And that one's hot sauce. Okay. Which one's hot sauce? That one. That one. Okay, I'll go. These look so pretty. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. And they're really easy and really flavorful and just very three ingredients. Flavorful. That mm -hmm. sauce is amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's very delicious. Okay. Thank I you. I love it. Now, speaking of the different types of things to eat, savory, sweet, tell me about the sweet and the special thing you're doing right now. So we're doing a collaboration with Adia and Crema Artisan Bakers, and what we've done is taken flavors from my childhood and Indian sweets and turn them into pastries that are more commonly available and more familiar people are more familiar like with the croissant so we have yeah. a rose almond croissant Ooh. we have <laughs> <laughs> yes. next to that is a chai chocolate croissant so much chai chocolate wow. i don't know what to I'm i just, love I'm the just gonna... combination of flavors that you we have. have a mango pop tart we have a guava tart, and then the, this one is like a chai cinnamon roll. Oh, wow. So it's all, this is delicious. Traditional Indian desserts can be very sweet um, for somebody who's not used to eating them regularly. So I thought that pairing the flavors that are very close to us and things that remind us of childhood, things that we're used to eating, and pairing it with something that also is something that's very you're comfortable oh, eating. Yeah. Um, Pop tarts are so fun. They and are just fun. Putting mango in them and giving them a different sort of Great. vibe. Oh uh, sure, yeah. This what is, is this? This almost looks like calamari to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's called what a chakli. It's a savory snack. It's ah. made of chickpea flour and it's fried. And these are all traditional Indian. These are all traditional Indian snacks. Like? Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Ooh. Is this a samosa? That is a samosa. Delicious. This mango pop tart. And all of this is available at Adya, right? Yes, well, all of these are available at Adya. The f sweets box is exclusively available at Adya um, just for this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, and Spice Girl sauces are available online, and you can make these for any holiday, not just Diwali. What's your favorite part of this festival? Oh, food, gifts, 
uh, and spending a lot of time just with family and friends and celebrating. It's our biggest holiday of the year, so it's just a lot of fun. I love it. I yeah. love it. And Thank beautiful. You. It's so too. beautiful. Thank you for Thank sharing you. your culture, your food, and everyone can try it out themselves as well. For more information on Spice Girl Sauces and Adia, you can visit our homepage and We'll have the links for you on Fox LA link page. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. This is delicious. We're going to keep you, eating. I know. <laughs> you have to try this croissant. Mm.